How you doing? I'm, I'm here with Colin and, and Bob. And we're, we're trying to understand that, uh, the, the axiomatic implications of the phrase 100% chance of rain. Is it like the, jumbo shrimp? The corollary, sh is, the it like corollary shrimp? is that there's a 100% chance Jumbo that shrimp? Rain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so is, is there a chance or is it a matter of fact that if there's a 100%, I mean, you wouldn't even say 100% chance. What, it doesn't make any sense. Right. Colin? There's, the, 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 my contention is that there's also a 100% chance that it will, will not rain. If, wait, what? If there's a 100% chance it's gonna rain, you're saying it's gonna be a 100% chance it's not gonna rain too? In, a, in some kind of a alternate uni an alternate universe? <laughs> I, I agree with that, with that strategy. Now, now, if you observe the situation, it could change. So you're saying the, sub the subatomic particles are, yeah. are subject to observation. Observation. Yes. Observation. Which can influence their influence behavior. The outcome. And what do you have to say on this, <laughs> Batman? Well, the 100% uh, the chance of rain is a singular event. And uh, uh, similarly, the 100% chance of uh, no rain is a singular event. And the singular events do not get divided by themselves unless there's no tomorrow. And I got one more thing to say. There's no tomorrow. <laughs> you know what? There's a hundred percent chance that, let me, let me just that anything can happen. <laughs> you don't need a weatherman to know which way the wind blues. <laughs> we'll close it out with that. <laughs>